I don't know how it happened, but it happened. I got super lucky and I found this super amazing seed. This spot looks amazing on the sunrise. I mean, check that out. This is truly a super seed with rarities and let's just get straight to it. The name's Masbro, by the way, if it's your first time to the channel, do consider subscribing. Right, so here's the coordinates to this world if you want to create it. This is a Java seed, obviously, but if you're here looking for Bedrock MCPE or, well, uh, console edition seeds, check the pinned comment section below and you'll find a link to a playlist that leads to those videos. Okay, let's click create a new world and let's see what we have to explore here. Okay, we're about to load up the world and check out the spawn. I mean, just the spawn is amazing. You spawn in this jungle biome, right? Jungle biome, beautiful clear waters next to you and right next to a jungle pyramid right here it looks awesome it's well it's awesome what can i say i mean check that out right i'd say that's a pretty good screenshot now in terms of spawn location i think this is quite perfect i mean check out the formation of the pyramid and the well you have a bamboo forest right at spawn if you want to make a starting base this would be well quite the perfect location let's just uh well have a look at the surroundings it's very nice it's super beautiful if we go down here i would say this spot here these walls here would make for a great hermit style house you can just dig into it make a little well a little, a little cabin inside here it would look good you would have the best view in the world i would also convert that pyramid there either into your home or maybe a storage room whatever works for you let's check out the loot kind of dark Ah, diamonds at spawn. I know you guys like that. Tons of gold as well. Well, two diamonds at spawn is very, very nice. If you're coming from the future, this is version 1.16.1. You can always load up a world on this version and then just upgrade it to uh, whatever version of Minecraft is available right now. If you check the video description uh, on this video, I'll link a video on how to do that as well. And here, of course, we have our second chest with um, crap. crap. But here we do have two sticky pistons which are very useful, especially in the early game. They're quite hard to acquire because you'll have to get slime balls, so do grab that. By the way, the coordinates will always be on the top left side of your screen. You can always press F3 to see coordinates on your own screen as well to figure out where things are. Oh, okay, I did not note this on my review before. I did not note that this village existed. Check this out. That is nice. That is nice. I think that deserves a quick screenshot for the clickbait. So very nice rock formation going on on this village. You have like this mountain side going up top here, but then you have like these little nooks underneath. You have a house pretty much under that rock adjacent to the top layers. It's a plains village, but it is in several biomes. It's on a plains biome, well, naturally, and it's also on a taiga biome up here. And partially it's, I guess it's on a mountain biome. Well, the roads are on a mountain biome, so a village on three biomes. And and well, it's laid out very nicely and happens to be this is also the closest village to your spawn. I gotta say I quite like this one. I love like these alpine style villages where you have like houses on multi layers and then you have some snow up top. Always very charming. So around 220 blocks from that previous village, we do have a pillagers outpost right here. It's not far from spawn. That's what's important. Now pillagers outposts are very useful in case you want to make uh, raid farms. And with raid farms, you can get totems of undying, unlimited emeralds and all that jazz. So to have this very close to spawn, very useful. By the way, if you're wondering um, the bearings here, that back there is that village earlier that we were showcasing and this right here is the pillagers outpost this seed will get better and better believe me so uh stick through it i'll show you more okay that was that first village and again very close to spawn we actually have two treasure chests now it's up to you if you want to find this by yourself or just cheat your way into it and just well open it lots of tnt to blow up your world and some iron and right next to this chest we actually have one more buried treasure nearby so just pay attention to the coordinates on your top left this is only i guess 30 blocks away from that previous one and that second chest is right down here and this time you'll find two more diamonds so well diamond pickaxe done well more diamonds can't say no to that so this isn't exactly the closest thing to spawn but it's nice to have a mushroom biome as well uh, it's maybe like 6,000 blocks away just wanted to show you that it exists on this world if you ever want to build on one uh, advantages of course being that no mobs can actually spawn here but again it's uh it's far away you're gonna have to do a little bit of effort to actually get to here so on these coordinates here you'll find the third closest village to spawn it is quite nice i mean 
Well, it's a nice village, and the thing I like about this one is that there's a hidden igloo somewhere here. Can't even remember where it is. Wait, give me one second. Locate igloo, and okay, there it is. Let's teleport to it, and there you have it. It's so well hidden that it actually blends in with the village, so this is actually an igloo right here. Unfortunately, it's not one of the ones with a basement, but an igloo nonetheless. If you do want a basement igloo, there's one near spawn right over here. It's not in the middle of a village, unfortunately, but well, uh, you break this block and you have your usual setup of those uh, the villagers underneath. Of course, with the required materials to cure them, a golden apple as well as a splash potion of weakness. So do with this as you will, but um, I'm just gonna let them do some MMA action right there. Okay, off we go to our next point of interest. One of the reasons why I'm doing doing these single seed reviews in a video is just because that I, I spend so much time researching seeds that some seeds there's just so many cool things that it's not worth putting it into a top 5 or top 10 video because I wouldn't have enough time to actually show you all the cool things about it. So uh, next point of interest here is that we have uh, oh, what happened to you buddy? Um, all right, let, let's, let's get you out of there. All right. No. You just want to stay there? Okay, that's uh, that's fine with me. So this is a pretty cool desert village. It's very small. It's very small. Uh, there's, I, th I think that's a blacksmith building. No, that's a stable. And you have, well, this pretty glitchy building over here. I think that's two buildings glitched into one. And, well, a cool thing here is you have that village, um, I don't know what that is, uh, that's the vi village well. And that is the subscribe notification bell button here in case you, uh, in case you haven't pressed it. And over here, we actually have a very hidden desert pyramid. As you can see, it's glitched into houses as well, but if we dig straight down, we'll find the loot. Nothing noteworthy but emeralds, but still, I love having these glitchy things in seeds. Now, th this is another one of those villages that I did not put into my notes and I just found. I'm glad I did. Very nice village. Parts of the village is hanging underneath this cool piece of rock over there. And we have a ruined nether portal by that village as well. Very close to the farm. Very interesting. And I gotta say, it's a very neat looking village. I mean, have a look at the structures. They are very, very well aligned. Have a look at that. Those two rows over there perfectly lined. It, it, it looks pretty neat. And these two farms here as well, aligned as well. So for you neat folks, I think this looks pretty cool. Oh, I almost forgot coordinates on your screen right now. Top left. Right before I show you the main highlight of the seed, I want to give you an overview of the map. This is what it looks like and I want to highlight that if, uh, well, this your spawn is around this side here at the middle of this whole map. If you look to the left, there's one, two, three, four, five jungle pyramids. All the coordinates are showing up on the top left if you just want to pause your screen, up to you. And you also have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine and ten. You have ten ocean monuments within one area, which I think is insane. Aha, this stronghold might be interesting. It might be one of those glitched ones. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Okay, I'm at the location now, and here's the hoping that we find a glitched stronghold. Uh, again, this, this is around 5,000 blocks away from home, but if it's glitched, it's totally worth it. So let's let's dive down and let's find out. Nothing here. Beautiful sun rays though, I gotta say. CSP TGI E10 shaders are amazing. Okay, I'm still looking. I, oh, oh, okay, there, there we go, there we go. Another one of those exposed uh, glitched strongholds. I always love it when they show up like that. So here's one piece of the stronghold. Hold. There's a cavern underneath. Maybe we'll find more. Nope, not on this side, but yep, the stronghold is right down here behind these walls over here. And let's try and travel a little bit further and see if we can find more. And yes, here is a much more exposed area. You can see the structures very clearly from this side. So that wasn't bad. I, I, I love exposed strongholds, but I've seen... No, uh, I have amazing exposed strongholds coming for you in the next few days. Wait for that, wait for that. Do turn on notifications. I'll show you some awesome ones soon. Right, and over on these coordinates here, we have a triple spawner. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a single and a double, but you can combine them with water. Oh, this one has two diamond horse armors, which you cannot craft and is the best type of horse armor in game. This one here is a zombie spawner. And if we go to spectator mode and if we just uh, fly upwards a little bit, you can see that there's two more spawners. And this one, this time is side by side. One is a zombie spawner and the other one is a skeleton spawner. 
Let's check the loot. Multi shot here, pretty useless. Let's break the walls to get to the other side and check the loot here as well. Name tag, very useful. Double spawners, great for farms. If that wasn't enough, we also have another double spawner over on this side. You don't even need to dig walls around this one because, well, they're literally right next to each other. And let's check the loot. More diamond horse armor. This one is a zombie spawner on this side with the golden horse armor if you want to you know, get horses in all different kinds of armor. And on this side, another spawner. As you can see, they spawn really fast. So, uh, well, if you're if you're if you're looking to get XP, very useful spots right here. Now, these zombies are making me feel quite uncomfortable, so I'm gonna get the hell out of here. So there is a mansion on this seed, kind of snow covered, kind of cool, but it is also sort of like 20k blocks away from spawn. That's why you should check out yesterday's video. We have two mansions within 2,000 blocks away from spawn, which is very cool. The only reason I'm showing you this is because, well, it can be really hard to find mansions. So check out that seed I posted yesterday if you're into them. It's a great seed, super spawn as well. Anyway, uh, done. Let's uh, let's go to the main highlight. Okay, there you have it, folks. I think this is the best location on the map. It's very, very close to spawn, only around 200 blocks away. Very nice bamboo jungle going on at the back side here, on the back area, uh, back side, not such a good word. Uh, okay, but, well, I mean, check this out. There's one village in the distance over there. I believe that was that, okay, I mean, there's two villages uh, in, in one location, uh, but we'll, we'll get back to that main one real quick. But if you look from above here, both, both of these are really close to each other, and uh, there's nothing wrong about this village here it's a very nice village as well other than the fact that it is tiny i think it's pretty small one two three three houses really only three it's got to be one of the tiniest villages i've seen or maybe i'm just not looking right yeah i'm pretty sure there's only three houses there but okay let's get back to the main village so uh this ice village is partially in an ice bikes biome which is awesome uh, it's it's crossed by this zigzaggy sort of river and partially it is in the jungle biome which makes it super cool or warm uh, i mean yeah you, you get the point but uh, this is very nice this house here is under this layer of rocks right there and well these parts here this farm is already going into the bamboo jungle why why are there ta taiga trees is this oh i guess the taiga trees are from the ice biome going into the jungle biome so that's a little glitchy as well you don't usually see taiga trees in a jungle biome and oh that's cool the bamboo actually crossed its way through the tree foliage that's pretty interesting and you have some of the houses that went into the bamboo jungle here as well. Wait, by the way, there's something awesome I want to show you here. Don't go just yet. Uh, it's not just about this village. Now, if you've been watching my videos, I'm sure you already know that if you have a village inside a bamboo... Oh, sorry, a jungle biome, you'll get jungle villagers, which look like this. Super cool, super rare. You'll very, very rarely see them. If we go to this crossing here on the river side, which is a plains biome. No, this is still a jungle biome. Let's go to the other side, which is here. This should be the river part. Yep, you'll get plains villagers over here. And if you get villagers on this side, they will be ice villagers. So you got quite the variety going on over here. <laughs> and let's get to my favorite bit right now. I forgot where it is. I got to find it hang on oh, there's an opening to a ravine and that ravine is super special okay I, I think that's it i think that's it right okay um let's carry some torches and let's walk there we should walk there okay father having a good father and son moment talk there and check out this little opening which well, might just seem like oh, oh almost fell but okay let's just go backwards as i light this up and you'll see why this is super 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 awesome right okay check out the ice spikes going all the way from above sticking itself into this massive ravine it looks super awesome ice spikes inside a ravine i absolutely love this i wonder if it goes deeper towards this side uh unfortunately no it doesn't but well okay three honestly these three they're enough that's it just looks super good i want to take a screenshot of this but it people probably wouldn't realize what it is just from the screenshot but yeah these are ice spikes going into a ravine super rare i i i mean that's really rare it's it's very hard to find that on top of it being next to a village like this so perfect combo right there let's take a quick screenshot here right anyway uh that's it for today's seed 
I like it a lot. I reserve my best seeds for these special one seed highlights. I, uh, I banged my microphone again. If you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe. I have a hardcore series. I keep sounding wor- <laughs> I, I need to mince my words. Uh, anyway, uh, I have a, yeah, a Minecraft hardcore series coming soon. It's pretty awesome. So do turn on your bell notifications. More seeds coming daily, hopefully, if I can produce it fast enough. And, well, in the meanwhile, thanks for stopping by. The name's Masbro. It's always great to have you guys here. Signing out for now. I'll see you guys, hopefully, tomorrow.